Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will continue with animation addition and more specifically, I'm going to talk today about how to animate custom CSS properties or variables on the example of creating such an effect. This video will be more for developers, designers who want to experiment with your website, but nevertheless, this effect is very easy to create and I will show you now how. So first we'll add an animation container and then we set a full width. Now we'll add a video box inside our container. This one will be the video that we are going to use and then we'll change the size a bit. So let's set 100% for width and 700 pixels for height. And then in fit to container, we click on cover. We'll also enable auto play and loop. And now let's move on to our animation. So here at the bottom, there is an option called custom CSS variables. In this video, I'm not going to explain what does it mean CSS custom properties. You can find this information yourselves on Google. We'll look at one practical example. So we type here, click pad circle, like this. And here you can find this interesting website where you can download different variables. So we can change its size and as you can see, if we downsize or upsize it, these values here are also changing. And actually this is the number that we are going to animate. So we go back and here in advanced options, in responsive and custom CSS, we click on add placeholder. And here was added a text that is responsible for CSS in this block. So if I delete the placeholder green shift, this is going to work for the whole website, but we do not need this. So we'll keep it and we'll first add a custom CSS variable. For example, it will be circle zero. Like this. And this means that the start point will be zero. And here we'll put the style that we have copied from the website that I already showed you. So as you can see, this style was applied to our block. So we have a circle here that takes 50% and we'll change this value here to var circle. This means that this value will use our variables that we are going to animate. So for example, if we set here 10%, like this, as you can see, our circle has decreased significantly. I will now set here zero. And as you can see, the circle has disappeared. Now I will copy this and I will paste it here in custom CSS variables name. And we will set a value of 100%. If we disable this option, set direction as from, then we will have such an animation. 
Now we will interpolate the appearing of the animation together with the scroll. We covered this in our first video about animation addition. So we will set 0 for trigger start, meaning that the start of the animation will be when the page has loaded, and we will set plus equal to 600 pixels for the trigger end. This means that once we scroll 600 pixels, the animation will finish. Also, let's set one for interpolation. This means that during the scroll, the animation will happen. And this is the effect that we get. Now we are going to add such letters as well and they will be in the background. So let's first change the height of our block. So we go to options and in height we set 100 VH. This means that it will be stretching to the whole height of the screen. Then we go to advanced and we do absolutely the same for the block itself. And now we will transform our container to container wrapper. Then we set full width. And here we will also set 100 VH for high. Like this. Now we will set an absolute position for the container with our video from here and also we will set 0 for each of the positions. This means that it will be stretching to the whole available area of the container. And now let's set for example 10 for Z index. Now we will add a background to the block. And we will also add here letters. So we click on Advanced Heading. So we need to make sure that our letters are inside our container. All right, now everything is correct. So now we'll enable Flexbox in the container and then we'll set a line to the center, like this. Now we go to the letters and we'll change their size. We'll make them bigger, like this. And in additional letter options, we will click on No Wrap so that they are on one line. Now the block is stretching our container, so we go to Spacing and we will click on Hidden for Overflow, like this. Now the letters are not stretching our screen. We save this and then we go again to the letters. We add an animation container and we will set a shift, for example, let's say 1500 pixels. Also, we will disable option set direction as from. Now we will also add scroll effect, so we set 0 for trigger start, plus equal 600 for trigger end and one for interpolation. Then we go to position and we set a relative position, like this. And here in Z index we need to set a value less than the value we set before for our video, for example 1. 
and now let's check how it works. So this is the effect that we get. But in our example, the block is freezing a bit while scrolling. To solve this issue, there is a special block called pin scroll. So we'll go to our main container here. And we'll add pin scroll. Now our block has moved out because it is not stretched to full width. So we set here full width and also we will set a full align here. Now the only thing that we need to change is to check the location of our block. So since the block is located on the top of the page, we'll also set as a trigger start top top. So we type here top like this. And here in trigger end, we'll set plus equal 600. So we save the changes and let's now check how it works. So as we can see, everything works well. The video is attached to our page and then it gets unpinned when we have scrolled 600 pixels. With variable options, we can animate not only some numbers and values, but anything in general. So for example, let's try to animate the color. So we add here a simple code. Like this. Then we will copy this one. And we will paste it here in custom CSS variables for name. And then we will set also a value like this. And this is what we get. So as you can see, the color of the letters is changing while scrolling. That's all for today. In our next video, we are going to talk about different options of parallax effect for the background or for the whole page as on these websites. See you in our next video.